We're gearing up for an engine lift experiment by pitting the factory support bar versus the Mishimoto upper support bar. We're going to lift the 1,500 pound engine off the ground and see who wins. So with the stock support bar, um, there's a lot of flex in the front end. That's your factory support bar. Ooh. Mishimoto is attempting to stiffen up the truck in the weakest area which is the worst area for it to be weak because it houses the entire cooling stack, the rad, intercooler, everything. The factory upper support bar is made of magnesium. It's a lightweight alloy in a heavy duty truck, which makes no sense. It's about six pounds. Our bar is cast milled steel with welded tubular steel in the center section and weighs 18 pounds. I might have to adjust. There's a little bit of slack back here, so I might have to tighten up this cable. When we lift this engine with the factory support bar, it's gonna explode. I think it's gonna go boom. So our tubular steel support bar with cast end plates is definitely gonna lift this off the ground, without a doubt. We've done the research, you know, we've done the math, we've done all the legwork, and uh, you know, now it's lifting time. As you can see, the factory bar just got shredded. The chain totally sheared the material right in half. The magnesium construction just literally could not hang. I think the Mishimoto upper support bar is gonna lift this engine three feet off the ground, no problem. Could lift five of these engines if it wanted to. Now that we proved the stock bar couldn't hang, Let's see if the Mishimoto bar can hold up to the test. So we here at Mishimoto chose to over-engineer this upper support bar, replacing the factory weak unit with an unbreakable steel unit that's strong enough to lift your engine and helps bulletproof your truck.